Hello, it's day 175 and I want to talk about water weight. I am still feeling like hot boiled garbage after that allergic reaction. And that plus the binge that I had yesterday is making me retain water like a sponge. I feel really gross today. And when I stepped on the scale this morning and I saw the like poundage on the scale, it was almost enough to trigger another serious restriction for me. In the past, gaining like like a serious jump in weight like that over the course of a couple days, that would have triggered me to go on a calorie restricting diet. And after I got out of the shower this morning, I did have that thought like, you know, this is unacceptable. Um, I need to start cutting back a lot. I need to start cutting calories in a serious way. Maybe I should, you know, re-download chronometer. But I, I did manage to pump the brakes on that idea a little bit because Here's the, th the thing, I think for fat people, and for fat women in particular, the idea of water weight is seen as something of an excuse. Like, normal weight people will laugh at us when we say that we've gained a little bit of water weight because they're looking at us and being like, water weight, huh? You've got 600 pounds of water weight, really? I think there was even like a joke about that on like my 600 pound life or something. But the thing is, Sometimes your weight does fluctuate in a serious way because of water weight. For women, you know, there are hormonal cycles that cause you to like hold on to water or having an allergic reaction, for example, will cause you to hold on to water. It's really funny how we expect weight to be this static thing. We expect it to follow certain trends based on, you know, what we're doing every single day. But our bodies don't always follow what our minds are expecting. And my weight has been so stable for the past couple weeks. So stable. Like, I, it, it really surprised me, like, how long it stayed stable. That the fact that today, the one day where I'm feeling like crap, and, like, that's the day my weight shot up. To think that, you know, that one day, that one little boop, on the graph that's going to be the thing that sends me spiraling back into the binge restrict cycle to think to, to even consider that for a minute like I kind of disappointed myself this morning I'm not gonna do that obviously I'm not gonna go back on a calorie restriction diet um you know but I am I am hoping that maybe the Benadryl kicks in a little bit better like I'm still like like I look like crap I look like crap I feel like crap I haven't been to the gym in a couple days and I just want nothing more than to stop itching. But maybe one more day will do it. Maybe one more day. So check back in tomorrow for the fun update on how much water I'm retaining and how itchy I feel.